Good morning. Yes, we'll see how uh, chipper everybody is this morning. My name's Steve Bible. I'm the president of Tapper, and I want to welcome you to the Digital Communications Conference. We have an incredible lineup of talks and activities today, and I sure hope that you enjoy them. I want to make some um, um, introductions. I want to introduce Larry Wolfgang from AWRL headquarters and let Larry say hello, good morning. Thanks, Steve. Well, I'd like to say good morning, and uh, I guess I should take an opportunity to, to welcome everybody to the DCC. Um, ARL co-sponsors with Tapper, the Digital Communications Conferences, and I read Dave Sumner's foreword in the Proceedings book. If anybody else happened to look at that, he mentions that the first uh, DCC was held in 1981. Um, and that's the same year I started working at ARRL, so it's hard to believe 30 years have gone by and uh, DCCs have been going on that long, but it's great. And the DCC is a perfect uh, example of the technology pillar of the ARRL's statements of purpose, so it really goes hand in hand. Whenever I talk about the ARRL, I like to make the point that it's not a building in Newington, Connecticut. It's not staff who work at the headquarters, but it's our members. Um, just real quickly, how many people here are ARRL members? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Fantastic. Well, you know, you are the ARRL, and so we're, we're glad to have you here participating, and we hope everybody has a good time. Um, I can't hardly talk about technology and ARRL without mentioning QEX. And if you did not get a sample copy, if you're not a subscriber, there are still a few left in the, in the playroom, so help yourself later on. Um, and then, you know, I, I, like, I talked with a bunch of people yesterday. I like talking with anybody about QEX, article ideas. I'm always looking for article ideas, um, so I'm happy to talk about that. You know, if you've got questions, if you've got a, a message to send back to headquarters for somebody, I'm happy to, to take that along back. And, and um, you know, if you've got any complaints about ARRL or the way things are being done, I noticed that my colleague Brennan Price just came in. So please talk to Brennan uh, about any complaints. Um, exactly. So thank you. And I'm sure we're going to have a great day. Thank you, Larry. Okay, so as our, our introductions, Brennan, please uh, stand up and take a bow. I know you're getting s settled in there, but Brennan, would you like to, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you to come up here because Brennan does an, a very, very important job within the ARRL, and I think everybody here should know about it. Thank you, Steve, and uh, good morning, uh, and thank you, Larry, and uh, thanks to all of you for coming and for your support of the League in both attending this conference and for many of you supporting us by membership. We could not do uh, what Larry and I do and what all of us do uh, without uh, the members of the League, uh, the 156,000, and Change Strong, uh, who uh, pony up $39 or more a year in order to uh, make this uh, make this possible. Uh, I'll be speaking at 945 about uh, some of the, our um, international advocacy activities, uh, but I uh, did just uh, want to uh, uh, welcome you on behalf of the other ARL officers and staff, and uh, thank you for continuing to push the envelope uh, on uh, amateur radio and technology and digital communication. Uh, it is noticed in uh, international circles and it has served us well and will continue to serve us well. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more later. Thank you. And thanks to Tapper as well for doing such a wonderful job in uh, sponsoring this event. We're proud to be a co-sponsor. Oh, great. Thank you very much, Brennan. Really appreciate that. Tapper enjoys putting on the, the digital communications conference. We feel it's very important for the amateur community. I think one of the most important uh, things about, and if I could borrow your proceedings here, um, it's, of course, for those of you that are here in attendance, you see the value of being here to the DCC, getting to hear the talks in person, being able to ask your questions, and then, of course, the ability to rub shoulders with one another and, and be able to talk to the speakers and share ideas. 
But I want to share that this is an incredibly important document. So I want to encourage you that when you're working on a project that you document your project in a paper. And of course, as you've had a chance to thumb through here, you notice that the papers are not something that you have to really fret over. In other words, it doesn't have to be a very specific style. Uh, notice that you know Michael's presentation is in here in PDF format. That's perfectly fine. It's very important to get your ideas in a published document. And then your ideas are then passed on to posterity. Okay? And this way, amateur radio does get its recognition that it is advancing the radio art. It's wonderful that your projects are documented on your blogs, on your websites, on your emails to your friends, but to really get it out there for posterity, that proceedings really locks it in. So I encourage you to work on your projects. Think of the ideas that you're going to get at this DCC. Start working on that one project, not the five projects, but the one project that you're going to finish and actually get it documented <laughs> for next year, OK? I'd also like to uh, mention Scotty Cowling. Scotty's the vice president of Tapper, so he's kind of my left-hand guy. I'm still looking for a right-hand person. <laughs> OK, he's not a lefty on that. I'd also like to recognize our local hosts who have done a fantastic job of helping getting the hotel organized. George, George Huron. George has done a lion's share of the work here. He's been a very big help. <laughs> and with George is Joe. And to CX. Joe's up here helping out with the videotaping, and Cliff, that would be me. right here, Cliff's helping out Gary. Gary is our amateur radio video news, and it's live from the drive, okay? <laughs> also, he is a co-host on Ham Nation on Twit TV, so Gary's been very busy, so Gary's graciously going to be doing the recording along with Joe and Cliff here, so you'll be able to watch and put on replay the DCC and you can watch it over and over and over again. <laughs> and for all of those very <laughs> for all of those very tough technical topics, you know, repetition, I would recommend that you play it during your sleep and let the subliminal <laughs> you know, what'll happen is you'll become infinitely smarter and you will impress your friends, you know? So that's the whole reason why you come to the DCC. Um, let's see. I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, oh, yes, Frank, who's up here front. Frank here is doing our IT work, and we thank him profusely for getting the internet and also helping out with the AV here. So thank you very much, Frank, for helping out. So those are all our helpers. Um, <laughs> In the registration room, which is also the demo room, um, we also have um, John Coster, who's the Tapper office manager, along with his lovely wife, Laura. My wife, Sheila, is also in there helping out. I sure hope that a lot of you brought your demos. You know, even if you're not giving a talk, we highly encourage you to bring the projects that you're working on. The tables are a first come, first serve. There's power at each of the tables. Just bring your projects, set them up in there, and then just have a good time explaining what you're doing. And go in there, take a look at what everybody else is doing, and get ideas for your projects for next year. Then there's a complimentary reception by the hotel from 4.30 to 5. So that is beer, wine, and cheese. Then at uh, 5.30, this is going to be the Friday night social. So anybody that signed up for the DCC, if you have significant others with you, they're welcome. Bring them along, and we'll have a Maryland-style barbecue. And it's open to everybody. Any questions for me before we kick off the first talk? Yes, sir. What is the Sunday morning presentation? OK, what is the Sunday morning presentation? It is a presentation by Bob Berninga, and the title he's chosen is Universal Ham Radio Connectivity by Call Sign. 
So John, if, how many of you know Bob? And you don't, I noticed you didn't raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, you heard it, you are in for a real treat. He's our most interesting maniac. Yeah, yeah, and he would, he would acknowledge that, I don't see him here just yet, but we've all, we've all said that, you know, he's got more, you know, he's more ideas, you know, where does this man get all of his energy and all of his ideas, and we all are just absolutely amazed. So what he has is a new idea of how we can intercommunicate with all of our different methods and how we can do that uniquely by addressing our call signs. Now, I'm sure you'll be absolutely amazed. <laughs> if not, I will refund your money, okay? <laughs> okay, does that help? So I take it from anybody in this room, you're in for a real treat, okay? And as for Sunday seminar topics, okay, year to year to year, we always look for and try to plan as far and far in advance as we can what the Sunday seminar topic will be. So if you have suggestions of certain Sunday seminar topics you would like to have, let me know so that we can try to find that person and get them scheduled and get it announced as soon as possible. Okay? Always looking for what you guys would like to deep dive on Sunday for four hours. Um, for the banquet, then it's the, the bigger white ticket that says dinner ticket, and there's a little tear-off tab for the drawing. We have some incredible prizes that have been donated to us by Yezu and Kenwood. I want to thank them. Kenwood has donated a THD72A. So can I hear some oohs and ahs? Very good. And Yezu has donated a VX8DR, oohs and ahs. And George of Midnight Engineering, Midnight Design Solutions. Now, I sometimes wonder about that. If, is that the only time you work on it? Okay. So he has graciously donated an SDR cube transceiver assembled and tested. All right, so we'll see you tonight at the banquet. Our banquet speaker is David Rowe. He's going to be talking about the Village Telco. And, of course, we'll hear from David on his Codec 2 talk later on today. And he is straight from Australia, so I think he's still suffering jet lag. So we, we will accommodate him. Now, the introductory sessions... We have four of those today. George is going to kick off the intro to digital data modes. It's in Crane C, which is uh, the room that's just on the other side here. Next up will be intro to HF Digital Voice by Mel Whitten. Now I've got where Mark Bronstein is doing the intro to D-Star. I've got on the schedule that he starts at 1, but we'll start at 1.30. That'll give them time to clean up the room, and then we'll get started there, okay? So that'll be for the intro talks. Then the final intro talk is uh, Bob Berninga. I don't know if he's qualified to talk about APRS. <laughs> we'll, we'll wing it. We'll wing yeah, we're, we're going to see. We'll judge him. And if everybody um, grade Bob and on his quality of talking about APRS. So thank you, Bob, for that. <laughs> OK. Um, just to kind of finish up here on our, uh, while I've got the microphone here, I always try to think of a theme of each of the DCCs. So this is the one that I've came up for this DCC. I'm still trying to wordsmith it, but here's what I've got so far. And I'd like to talk about this a little bit more throughout the day with you one-on-one, -on -one, and then we'll do it during the annual meeting um, around four. But here it is. It's describe what the amateur radio of five years from now looks like that you want to play in. So key here is amateur radio. That's why we're all here. What does it look like five years from now? Describe it. Transport yourself five years from now. And what does it look like? 
And not in a futuristic type of sense of, you know, there's flying cars, there's Priuses with solar panels on them, <laughs> there's, but I mean, describe the amateur radio of five years from now that you want to play in, okay? So think about that. So what I'd like to do is make an introduction to the first talk of the, of the 2011 DCC.